guys, Troy from One Up Reviews, and today we've got a sneaker review and unboxing of the Yeezy Foam Runner in Sand. Before we get into this review, guys, if you're new to our channel, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our latest reviews. Slap that thumbs up, we wanna see those likes. Show some love in the comment section below. We try our best to reply to every single comment thrown out our way. And I just wanna take this time to thank all our subscribers existing, the ones from day one and the new ones. Thank you, without you guys, we aren't able to create any content. So let's get into this review. So today we've got a look at in my opinion, they're the most ambitious Yeezys of date. They're the very out there, they're head turners, whatever you want to call it. People might call them weirds, people might want to call them the croc imitation. But at the end of the day, this is the Yeezy Foam Runner. So we've got this Foam Runner in a US size 8. I know what you're thinking, that's weird because the UK size is 8 as well. So I think it's the same, probably it says it on the label. And it's a European 42. Let's get unboxing. There's barely anything on the box that contributes to Yeezy's ambition, his vision to make everything more sustainable. That includes the packaging. And here it is. You know, like, it's, it's weird. But you know, it's Kanye. He, he sells these out. Now before I close the box and we get into the review, you can see very minimalistic design. There's barely anything in the box that it comes in, but it tells you it's a foam runner in the inside. So there's less heat pressing. And there. And we'll start with the outsole. The outsole is similar to the upper. The whole foam runner is made out of injected EVA foam and it also incorporates recycled algae. So it helps clean, clean the lakes. There's the Adidas logo that's in the middle. If we go on to the upper, as I mentioned, this whole sneaker, this whole foam runner is made from an injected EVA, very lightweight. There's not much else to say. I mean, are, are these a sandal? Can be argued that these are sandals. Can be argued that these are a runner. Because essentially you just slip your feet in. And I mean, personally, I wouldn't use them for running. But if it's in the name, you know, if you've got a reason for running, let us know how you get on. I'm not going to personally use it for running. To me, I see these as crocs, like in regards to material and use. I'm just going to use them for comfort and casual wear. If I am to walk around in the outdoors, in the streets, for my like weekly shops or whatever, obviously I'm gonna get some head turns because these are very eccentric in design. To me, it looks like a weird Batmobile. Uh, I don't know what I could say, it's like weird design, but who are we to you know, judge Kanye's, who are we to question Kanye's genius? Because these retailed, I got these for 70 pounds. I was lucky enough to get them for retail. And I've seen them go, especially the first colorway, they were Rarats. I hope hopefully I, correct, um, I pronounced that correctly because those, I've seen them go and StockX were grand, which is crazy. I mean, it's just, I mean, look at it. It's just one, there's no, as you can tell, I'm in amusement. I am in shock because there's, Barely anything. I mean, there's ventilation here. Great for the hot come hot days that are coming this way for the summer. I do want to mention that this uh, insole or the point of access where you put your feet in, that, that's relatively softer than the upper. There's more foam in the toe, so I guess your toes are a bit more protected. But it's not like a steel toe cap, obviously. So the vents that surrounds the sneaker foam runner, whatever you want to call it, they're all strategically placed for the airflow and basically it's there to keep your feet cool. I'm going to round it off there because this is very minimalistic in regards to design, in regards to the materials used, which is great. We're all 
loving sustainability in this year, this whole era of fashion, I guess. And to be fair, hats off to Kanye West. He's nailed it. He's here out of the park again. I'm pretty sure that these have sold out. These have been going around 400 pounds. Last time I checked StockX for the sand colorway, which we're able to have. And yeah, I can't wait to try these on. It's gonna be the first time I'm gonna try on such a interesting design sandal. So roll that footage of me trying these on. When it comes to the fit guys, I recommend that you get your true to size Adidas fit. When it comes to Adidas, I'm size eight. Great fit for me. Feels a bit weird. It's very interesting, obviously. It's such a unique design. It feels like it kind of is pressing towards my toes, but that's because there's a lot more foam in the toe area, but there's no slippage. There, but yeah, my toes are here, if you're wondering. No space at all. Great fit. Before we sign out guys, these are really comfy. If you, in case you're wondering, and I don't think I mentioned it, but they are comfy. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us at One Up Reviews with a Z at the end. With a Z at the end on Instagram. Until next time, peace.